Hey guys, welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Okay, well, let's quickly go and uh, s uh, let's quickly go over to the therapist then. Um, I uh, I'm quickly gonna go and put uh, and turn up the audio on OBS. I think the dialogue is a bit quiet. Uh, okay, that should be fine. Yeah, I have to go and exit the game because it it doesn't actually let me um. It doesn't actually let me go onto the other mod, sir, when I'm in the game on GTA. It's so weird. So, in the last video, uh, we were with, um, uh, we were with Michael. Um, yeah, as you can see, Amanda, uh, Amanda here, uh, sent us a message too soon to bring up tennis. Assume, uh, assume I'm not getting another coach anytime soon, so we need someone to play with. Worried my grip is getting loose. Amanda, um, Amanda has some nerve uh, to uh, text Mike at, at this moment. Basically, what happened was um, uh, Amanda fucked the, the tennis coach and. Uh, Michael chased him around uh, Los Santos up that way somewhere um, and he pulled down a deck which uh, he thought was a tennis coach uh, but now uh, it was actually a woman's and Martin Madrazo uh, told him that he needs to make I think it, it, de it definitely goes into the millions way into the millions so uh, yeah Michael is not uh, is uh, becoming unretired now he has to go and find a way to make some money. So yeah, I think we might go over to Leicester in today's video. We also have uh, the, another mission at Michael's house. Alright, here we are. Come in, Michael. Oh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that... Uh, give me a quick second. For some reason, IBS is lagging. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, we have some encoding lag. Hopefully, it will fix after this cutscene. Let's just keep I going. I a trigger when I see one. You know? Shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family. Uh, my son. <laughs> my daughter. My wife, especially my wife, she just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I, I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I got to make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and 
Sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I I'm two different people, and I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. Now, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed, but for some reason I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering, or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. Half the time, my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute, that's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, this, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay. Okay. It seems like it calmed down now. I think it was just like that cutscene which my PC uh, didn't really like. Um. But yeah, let's uh, let's go. Let's go and see Buddy Lester. Martin Michael my money where is it uh, you do not want me to visit you again next time uh, next time will be so much worse mm don't worry buddy I'm working on it I'm working on it oh, no. oh, we got some more notifications over here oh, okay it's just the ammunition store and we also have uh, Oh yeah, the therapist. Uh, the therapist. Okay. Oh shit, uh, there's a robbery. Sir, stop. Stop moving, I will shoot. Get back here now. Don't you move. I told you to stop. This is yours. Oh, you're 
my hero. I can't thank you enough. Okay, we've got fifty dollars from that, not bad. Okay, I think we can just squeeze past here. There we go. And here is Lester. Uh, okay, one more road up. Here we are. Ah, okay, it's this, it's this house right here. Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. Then you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something, so why not help each other? I got to make some dough. You're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that. Hey, shut up a minute, I'm getting an I find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by what? outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here. Take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. Uh, I'll find something. Just like the old days. <laughs> okay, I guess uh, let's quickly go over to the store.
Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of trucks here. <clears throat> Oh, fuck you. It's your problem, bro. That guy was going straight. He was not turning left. Excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? Okay. Sounds, uh, sounds good. <clears throat> okay, we'll do the cargo shorts first, actually. Um, which ones should we get? Um, these ones are cool. Um... All right, we'll do these ones. Tragic, but they'll do. And then over here, let's try to go like with like the same kind of colors. Maybe like uh, maybe like this one, I think. There we go. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Goodbye. Thank, thank you. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Oh, shit. No way would you squeeze through that. That has never happened before, what the hell? My driving has definitely improved. pushing for more functionality <laughs> but we are maxed i mean if anything we have to strip features especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later oh my you know it's yeah well you know you gotta do what you gotta do you know i mean we're talking beta in q4 maybe q3 look milestones are one thing but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight there's not much you can do about it you look, know what i'm saying uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up so wait a minute do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. Okay. What, what do you want me to do? I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Alright, where's your PC? 
Ah, here it is. Okay. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. What the fuck? Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work. Oh, right? we need to hurry this you know, my up. My son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups. See what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. There it goes. Might I tempt you with some organic chow or a fair trade java? And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Alright, let's go. Rig the prototype. Okay. Are oh, you just gonna leave the bag there, Michael? Uh, okay, sure, I guess. That's not very smart, but okay. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Bye now. Goodbye. No idea what that guy was saying, but sure. Thank you. Alright, back to Michael's house then. Where did I park my car? Okay, it's round back here. There it is. Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend. Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey. I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, uh, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. There we go. Okay, right, let's go and change the channel. I got. I, I don't know why I'm watching this. Um, let's go and pull up the volume quickly. There we go, that should be enough. Ah, here we go. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. 
full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world, an average age of only 14.4 years. That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary. Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. What the fuck? The Life Invader oh. mobile device. There it is. Yes, we have invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home, and at the same time, you're docking the <coughs> at the public pool. Dock, 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 We went to the guys at Fruit Computers, and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. All right, let's go. It'll take all the data off it. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Security! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 let's... No, 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 no. Whoa! All right, there we go. Um, it's probably going to be like another call, you know. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Last, that was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. The fuck? The fuck happened outside? Why was there an explosion? Right, anyway, um... What, what did that say? Uh Oh, here we go. Take a hit of Jimmy's what? Did I say bong? Oh yeah, okay. Right, anyway, uh I'm going to leave it here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Also, make sure you are subscribed and you've turned on the post notifications. Go and check out the two videos on the screen. The left one is a previous GTA 5 video. The other one will just be another video, which you may want to go and watch. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.